Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to segment two of the Rifter Nine and a Half. And I have a treat for you today. You, you and your players may have run across the the dichotomy that is SDC and MDC, and <laughs> had trouble reconciling both of them in your world of rifts. Well, that's gone. It that that is over. This is the solution. Giga damage. Let's get into it. I'm waiting for this one. Uh, please right. like, subscribe, and share. And I want to remind folks before Heathen Dog starts here that uh, if you're watching this anytime relatively soon after it comes out, end of 2024, we'll just say, uh, the Christmas surprise package is going on the Palladium book site. So if you've not had a chance to get your Christmas surprise package yet, or if you've only ordered one, or maybe only ordered two, you need to go back to palladium-store.com and get your stay. $60 you pay plus shipping, and he throws in at least $100 worth of books exactly right now giga damage as you can see sdc guy this is your normal soldier guy in in modern warfare or recon or my games. whatever my after the bomb games and my team and t games after the bomb games right and then here's here's your riffs guy in this this is a this is a a, a a a coalition soldier he has mega damage completely murders the sdc guy makes him completely irrelevant mm -hmm. well now we have on the right, we have Giga Damage. That's a Glitter Boy, right? That is a Glitter Boy, but that is not a boom gun. That is much bigger than a boom gun. This is your answer to the SDC MDC problem. Giga Damage. That isn't from the Quebec book? No. Oh, okay. No. Let's go ahead and read it. All right, let's see here. We need bigger guns. Of course you do. In the beginning... There was just the structural damage capacity, SDC weapons and armor in the Palladium Megaverse. Relatively wimpy fare, comparable, capable of only blowing to pieces the average person or a very light vehicle with a single high-powered attack. Pfft. If you kept up an attack for a whole round or more, maybe you could take out a tank or, you know, with some rocket launchers or high-level superpowers or whatever. Then came mega damage, pure, sweet mega damage. Oh, how we love thee. Now, <laughs> even with the mega damage pea shooter, a character can punch a hole through the biggest SDC tank. It was awesome. It was great. There was nothing cooler than that. Blah, blah, blah. We're badass. Everything's cool. But have you noticed in your game how everyone's got mega damage? Mega damage this, mega damage that. Everyone has mega damage armor now. That means it's not special. We talked about that with Kevin and Sean last week. We did. We did. Check out. Well, it hasn't happened yet, but in... Uh, in uh, in our last interview with, uh, yeah, with Gamer, Gamer Talk, and, they're, pop and they've, they're Robertson, popped. We actually talked about how most people don't don't run SDC and MDC correctly because they're it's confusing. They just don't they don't they don't understand how it works. And you know what? I get it. I completely get it. Giga damage fixes that. Watch this. What's the point of having mega damage weapons and armor if a guy you're trying to turn into pate is packing the same hardware? It doesn't work. Your your little your little handgun, which normally would kill any SDC person in a single shot, now pings off of this armor that everyone seems to have at all times. They even sleep in it for crying out loud, apparently. <laughs> and you have dragon hatchlings walking around who are walking MDC structures. Giga damage is your answer. What is giga damage? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. S SDC. One point of SDC is one point of one point of structural damage and one hit point of damage. Great. Mm -hmm. One mega damage is 100 SDC. Mm -hmm. One giga damage is 1,000 mega damage. You're now not going to have that problem of you can't one shot people anymore which is what Rifts is for. You can change the Mercator maps with one of these guns, and rightly so. Now you can actually feel powerful again. And this, this, is, this, is, what, this is what happens, man. This is just great. The concept behind Giga Damage is simple. What Mega Damage is to SDC, Giga Damage is to Mega Damage, except it's better. Remember, SDC to mega damage was one to was a hundred to one. Mm -hmm. One mega damage is now one thousandth giga damage. Wait, wait, up to one. Was it just one million, or is that to SDC? That's that's to SDC. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. 
Yeah. So one million to one. Okay. Plus two more is well, it's a hundred thousand, but whatever. Uh, thing uh, right. hundred to one ratios to wimpy gives SDC gamers the delusion that maybe they can actually take down a mega dude. No. Uh, up the GDC to MD. Oh, a million to one. Sorry, I thought it was a thousand one. It's a million to one. That means one point of giga damage equals one million points of MDC, and mega damage weapons simply cannot hurt giga damage structures ever. So you could you eliminate the whole SDC problem. Yeah. Eliminate the problem. Anyone who's SDC is only going to last five minutes in a giga damage world, and then you don't got to worry about it anymore. You don't have to are worry the about those... sp- are scared of this though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because really? okay, the, yeah, the person who has giga damage wins. All right. Now, the the a lot of people say that the biggest problem with the world now is proliferation of nuclear weapons. Now, that could have been nipped in the bud if we just nuked everyone first. No more other people, no more, no problem with nuclear proliferation. This is where you can fix that mistake in rifts. Once you get a giga damage weapon, you take down every other power in the world. That way, no one else can get it, no, no one else can stop you, and you end up on top of the pile. Well, That's let me you. guess. You're the we have mad going on in rifts now, mutually assured destruction, where multiple factions have this. Multiple, no, no, no. Multiple factions oh. have mega damage. They have nukes that do mega yeah. damage, but they don't have giga damage. No, 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 no. Oh, the first person to get giga damage, if they're smart, they just win. Oh, so this hasn't been written, at least as the time that this book came out. Yes, this, this hasn't is, been written. This is an addition to the game that is uh game master dependent. Oh, if your game okay, okay. Master wants to put giga damage in and fix rifts he can so okay. once it hits the world it's 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 a race to, to see who gets it first whoever gets it first and they're smart they win i like this this is a usable optional rule that allows because how, how many times do people cry about oh mdc sdc uh, dude i'm with you 100 yep. percent. i like this there it is so what kind of things are we looking at well, here's your light pistol, right? This is a light giga damage pistol. Giga damage, 3D6. That's mm-hmm. 3D6 times 1 million mega damage. And you fire as many attacks you're around as you have, you know, many times as you have attacks per round, like any normal gun, as fast as you can pull the trigger. It weighs one pound. And the payload is 100 shots. Not like those stupid MDC laser pistols that fire 6, 8, 10, 12, yeah. 30, 30, 60 tops, right? Bullshit. No, this is 100 shots per clip. But you do have to use a special giga clip. Yes, you have to use a giga clip, Got which it. is 10,000 credits for, for each giga clip. So it's not a lot. And it's got a range of 10 miles. This is a pistol, range of 10 miles. So for everyone, all the shooters out there, like, unless you're a professional shooter, you don't need a sight on a pistol. Well, you do now. Well, yeah, but it makes sense. If you're if you're ejecting that much power, it makes sense exactly. that it would have that much more range. So, exactly yeah. right, yes. And then we have the heavy energy pistol, which is 1d4 times 10. So that's 1d4 times 10 million mm-hmm. mega damage, which means you win. Particle beam rifle, 1d6 Ooh. times 10 million damage. Full auto only. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Full auto only. Burst firing is for elitists who have delusions <laughs> of accuracy and ammo conservation. Well, I mean, it makes sense. If it's full auto only, I get it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the G1 Derringer. Derringer does 1D4. 1D4. But it's it, and it only has 10 shots per giga clip. But it's, it is very concealable. That's, that's the trade-off. Yeah, but it's this a Derringer. It should only have one shot. <laughs> well, it had, this one has 10. Yeah. It has one-tenth the shot of a regular Giga Pistol. I think that's fair. And the range is only one mile. I think that's fair, too. If you're hiding it, you're taking it into a secure facility, or, or g- getting it through security, then anyone anyone you shoot is probably going to be a little relatively nearby right well, let's, let's also be fair it says a mile right but if you're in an enclosed area you're not going to be seeing a mile you still have to be on top of a hill or a building or wherever in the plains you still have to have you have to be able to see that far wherever you are so you know yes yeah this this makes sense i'm Absolutely. i'm in 
Absolutely. And then we have the uh, G60 machine gun, 3D6 times 10 million mega damage. Double auto fire. Double auto. What does that mean? The weapon fires on full auto, but so fast, it's like firing two full auto spreads at once. For a 1,000 credit upgrade fee, all Giga Guns may be fitted with this feature. Now, you're going to go through your clip twice as fast. That's fair. That's fair. But if you have an Armada coming at you, because you have a giga weapon having double auto fire and just spray and don't need to pray because you're already holding your god in your hands you just spray well, and you eliminate all enemies go go back to that picture for a second doesn't that look like something you'd see in battle lords of the 23rd century yes so or an you know, i hate to hate to say it you know this isn't the most unique thing I've ever seen. It's interesting. Yes. Uh, but I mean, Battle Lords, yeah, I, I could picture this, uh, this image right here in Battle Lords with, yeah, it's an oversized kind of Final Fantasy gun, but like you say, like you said, anime, but it makes sense. If you're holding on to that, and it's as a G60, it's effectively the M60 of the, you know, the future. It's just the yep. Giga Damage version. And it costs a million credits. Yeah, it's not cheap. Like, it's not cheap, but whoever gets it, if you use it correctly, you just win forever. Right. But that's not that's that's not the pinnacle of Giga technology. The G999 Giga missile launcher. Varies by warhead, but all do 10 D10 times 100 Giga damage, except for smoke warheads, which inflicts so only one D6 smoke. Times wow. 10 giga damage. So that's times 100. That's 10 D10 times uh, 100 million mega damage. Okay. Uh, math, no, not on stream. <laughs> what each each giga damage is a million. This yeah. is times hundred, so it's a hundred million. Yeah, ten d ten times a hundred million. That means whatever space armada is currently orbiting your planet, they're not anymore. Not anymore. They're all gone. The 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 splugorth or the mechanoids or whomever decided to take over your planet today took a big L. And they're not doing that anymore. Yeah, I would say that the the other art I get this one's a little too yeah, whimsical for my too weird. You know, looks like a leprechaun a using a. a, a but anyway. well, he looks like a leprechaun just because this thing's so big and he's looking well, and his shoes. Yeah, that's uh, a support cannon. We we don't care about support cannons. That sucks. But what we do care about is that's a cool picture. This one. This is like a. The, the, the behemoth Robotech Mac 10. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a behemoth and battle tick, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, you know, scaled down, but with it's called the Gigasaurus Rex. This one is a is a replication of the reflex, the main reflex cannon of the SDF one. Oh, it does 3d6 times 50,000 mega dam uh, giga damage, which means times 1 million in I'm mega not, damage, so 50 pretty million, much whatever. Let's. <laughs> It pretty much destroys planets. Rate of fire is unlimited. You can fire as many times as you feel like. Range is unlimited. Payload unlimited. It does not... It, it runs off of the background cosmic radiation of the universe, which you are releasing more of every time you atomize something. Mm -hmm. So it never, ever runs out of power. Ever. And it only weighs eight pounds. It's just large. I mean, let, let's... Uh, so, I mean... I get it. It's you got to wear it on your back because of its size. Uh, yeah. I think they could have made a more practical backpack for that, but you know, I get it. So if you were trying to copy it from the, sorry, the the Mac Ten or Mac Three or whatever it was, I get it. Yep. Yep. Then there's the Giga Boomer. That's a. I mean, that turtle is pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's the little, it's the little turtle one right here. Uh, 3d12 times 10 giga damage uh, as many times you can attack in the melee round the stupid rule got snuck in by an old gm blah 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 the whole rate of fire rule you can only shoot as many times as you have actions whatever uh, multi-barrel giga boomers can either fire all barrels at once or a single shot setting six times for a normal damage of course and uh, this is a, a single barrel deal it's fine it's fine well hey uh, there's a request to read that note for the the Gigasaurus Rex, whatever. Let's go okay. back up. Uh, uh, the the notes section of the. Okay, here we go. Additional notes. Nope. Uh, as I wrote up this no, no, weapon, no, 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 the, the, the one above, the one above. 
You're right, just to know the, the paragraph above, the note above, not the additional note, the note oh, note. Okay. This weapon is a massive shoulder-fired bazooka-style weapon like the G999, except it is a beam weapon and looks way cooler. It does. You can fire it one-handed, but shooting two G-Rexes like paired weapons will incur a minus one to strike. That's fair. Characters generally should not get access to this particular weapon until at least second level. I understand that. Yeah. It's 3D6 times 50,000 giga damage. So multiply that by a million. What is that? You're in the you're in the billions or trillions of of uh, mega damage at that point. You know, you, you you can destroy a planet or a small sized star. Yeah. So you have to be mature. So at least second level, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get that. And then there's uh the giga damage Q and A. Uh, how come there's no giga damage armor yet? When I began writing this article, I thought I would include some giga stats for giga armor, but you know what? I like it better with people just having giga guns. It makes it easier to blow stuff up. Besides, the time I spent writing up giga armor could be much better spent playing giga bots and giga babes. My awesome new collectible card game. Look at it. Look it up. If you can find it, it'd be great. So. Not Someone having giga long. damage armor is a choice, and it's the right choice. I wanted to read this one Q and A because it is the right choice. The problem with mega damage became everyone had mega damage weapons, and everyone had mega damage armor. So, what's mega damage for? Right? It's an arms well, race. Exactly. If no one has giga damage armor, then giga damage will never be soiled with that problem. Giga damage will always be cooler. Because no one can defend against it. Yeah, I mean, you can't have it till your second level anyway, so it's not oh, like... No, no, uh, no. You, you, you can't have the, the, the Gigasaurus Rex until second level. Oh, fair, 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 All fair. the other ones you can have. But also, remember, remember how everyone is so whiny about the Cosmo Knights. They only take one one-hundredth the damage from energy. God, that makes them so OP. Well, guess what? Not anymore. They die just like the rest. That's it. They just they just va they vaporize just like everybody. When you hit them with a with a giga weapon, all right. That's how it works. Have you have you implemented this in any of your games yet? I had like I, I just read it this week. I was like, I blew mm. my mind. It just read it. It blew my mind. But definitely, how long have you had this book? I've had this book forever. It's been sitting in my shelf. <laughs> you know what? I I I don't actually own it. Uh, th this is Cthulhu Law's book. I'm just holding on to it for. Oh. Him. Okay. Well, and it makes sense. Let's be honest. I mean, I remember I asked you at the beginning or maybe it was the last video where it's like, I've had this book for a long time too. And I was like, oh crap, was I missing out on something as well? But I only do SDC worlds. So this wouldn't affect me as much. Yeah, I don't read every, every word of every book that's necessarily behind me. I'd like to say I have, but I'm sure there's a few that escape. So I get it. I, I, I so. Yeah. And this, this one here, I kind of like too. this, this little Q and a right here. Uh, one of my friends said he fired a giga gun at the fabric of space and time and created a rift. I told him that was stupid. The what? answer is it's not stupid. It's brilliant. Yeah. Think now your mecha pilot can control beings from another dimension without having to learn all that magic garbage. One look <laughs> okay. at your giga guns and any creature from another world will be licking your boots clean. They shine. That's why my character currently has the Legion of Dragons as his house cleaners. Never underestimate the presence of overwhelming firepower to get other people to do what you want. Yes, if you can open a rift by shooting a giga, whip, a giga weapon at a nexus point, you can finally kick all those stupid shifters to the curb. <laughs> I knew to shift a rant at some point. <laughs> all those, all those idiot shifters out there, and those holier than thou leyline walkers. You can just say, "Hey." Pound sand, butthead, get out. We don't need you anymore. I can open rifts. I can go to other dimensions. I can dominate. I can bring back the best of what they have to our world, and I can make our world a paradise. So technology is finally wiping out magic the, yeah. and kind of getting us back to a sense of reality here. Yeah. And <sighs> it, you know what? You know what? I'm going to say it. Everyone's thinking it. I'm going to say it. The only people who can handle giga damage weapons properly is the coalition what about the we, ngr no no oh. they're they're too lenient too lenient only the coalition the coalition will clean this planet clean it up and anyone who tries to come in and say oh we we claim this planet in the name of wherever the heck you're from 
one shot from from the from the from the you know giga weapons and they're gone problem solved it's the ultimate problem solved button we're the mechanoids now yeah the mechanoids don't do anything nothing oh they're 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 uh crazy psionic you know blobs from space who hate all uh you know hate all humanoids forever okay you know, it's sad that that, that that Gigabots and Gigababes card game didn't take off like uh, some other ones did. That would have been that'd that been cool been if one of us had a deck epic. of that. Yeah, actually epic. Yep. So that is Giga Damage. Now, if you want to incorporate Giga Damage in your game, it's really easy. Absolutely simple. You drop one Giga Damage weapon in the world. Everyone's looking for it. Super fun. It's 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 kind of like the cannonball run. Actually, you can call it the giga damage run. <laughs> where everyone's racing to the metaphoric top of the mountain where they find the giga damage weapon. And the first person to find it should just win the game. Should. If they use it correctly. And by correctly, I mean killing everyone else besides you. And then you win. Yeah, but how would you, how would you utilize this? I mean, and I don't play my RPGs to win, so to speak, like that. How how would you incorporate this into a game and make it something that the characters could get their hands on, but the enemy is still a threat? Hmm. I mean, numbers num numbers could work. No, because if you no, well, yeah, but you can only shoot the gun in one direction. Oh, true, but the, the Gigasaurus Rex, which you can get at level two, uh, has unlimited rate of fire. Mm. Which means it doesn't matter where they are or how far away they are, they just get shot. Mm. So that doesn't matter anymore. No, uh if if think think of it this way. There have been many role playing games. Uh, vid video games I'm talking about now role playing video games that after you complete the game you can still keep playing right mm -hmm. you can elect to keep playing now do lots of people do that not a lot unless unless you want to finish your settlement or your or, or the uh, random side quest country and stuff like that and yeah. that's what you do once you win with giga damage you can now go to your world building part of the game and set up your society that will live far beyond you because it is supreme and will remain supreme forever. And you can do that and then quit when you want. It's that easy. I mean, you win because you win and then you can quit anytime you want as the winner. That's all it takes. I can foresee some people house ruling in a giga armor and then having the arms race again and then moving up to terror damage at some point. But yeah, that's for yeah, a different time. I mean, you don't need to do that. I mean, if, if, if you introduce giga armor, you are creating the same problem that happened with SDC and MDC. You know, the, yeah, sure. Yeah, I, have right, the, right, right. I, I have these weapons that do ungodly amount of damage, but now they have armor that blocks ungodly amount of damage. And now we're we're back to exactly where we didn't want to be in an arms race where everyone starts off equal. That's stupid. How can you win? You can't. It's just going to be a headache forever. So don't don't do that. Don't do that to your players, game masters. Don't bring out giga armor. Just giga damage weapons and just one to start. Whoever that makes sense. It, whoever gets it, either wins. Or loses the weapon to somebody else who's going to win instead. That's it. That's all. And you fixed rifts. You fixed phase world. You, you fixed, fixed you fixed a complaint. I don't know if you fixed the game itself, but you fixed a complaint because yeah, I don't yeah, have yeah. a problem with MDC. But for the folks who do have a problem yep. with MDC, yes, you absolutely. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. So what what do we have for comments? I think we had a couple of super chats in here. Um. So CBK, thank you very much for the five dollars. Uh, any helium three-powered railguns with artificial singularity rounds? 
Uh, that is a good idea. It, it doesn't specifically say mm -hmm. that in this section, but you can easily put that in your game. Yeah. And it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, apparently, we forgot to reach the bonus section of the G60 machine gun. has some extra details we need to know. Okay, all right, no problem. Uh, note, this weapon is designed to be fired from the hip. To get the perfect effect, the characters should have no shirt on, female characters especially, and have really good war face. I want to see your war face. Exactly. Now, the reason it says you should have no shirt on, female characters especially, is because that actually ties very well into our third segment, which includes runic bikini armor. We're going to get into that in the next video. Don't miss it. Again, for your Red Sonia campaigns. Exactly. For your Conan the Barbarian, Red Sonia, Thundar the Barbarian, whatever. It's it's for that type of campaign, and it works wonders. CBK for another $5. Thanks again. Says, Thank I you. bet these are stockpiled in Antarctica bases. Well, we'll, well find out when that book comes out. Coming out. Yeah. So, you know what? If, 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 if you want to put a, a giga damage weapon cache in your Rifts Antarctica, please do. I mean, it is a great vehicle to introduce this beautiful aspect of the game. Uh, apparently Giga Whip is a weapon type, but only available to the Giga Babes from the card game. That sucks that you can't find the damn card game anymore. No, right? Pfft, lame. I, I, I searched too, man. I want a Giga Grenade with a range of 100 feet and a blast radius of 500 feet. You may want to rethink those numbers. Well, no, no, no. I understand that. I mean, if, if you want to be a suicide bomber, which I cannot... I can Heroic cannot Sacrifice. Yeah, it's heroic sacrifice. But the thing is, no one no one is going to think that when you throw a grenade, you know you're going to die too. People are going to want to run away from the grenade. It's not going to help them. But, you know, you give them a little hope before the end. Is that mean? <laughs> Dash it away. <laughs> yeah, it's a little mean, maybe. But, but it's about having fun, right? Exactly. All right, that's all I had there. Well, that was interesting. I, I'm, even though I run SDC games, I still think I could find a way to make something like this work. Even if I did scale it down to the mega damage size, right? But still use it conceptually. No mega damage armor, only mega damage weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, so I could see it scaling down to the SDC realm if you just do it that way. And then this would be perfect for Robotech. Man, you know what? This made so much sense when it came to robotech i know you guys are riffs guys but i was thinking robotech like makes perfect sense that destroids destroy things you know boom done move on uh yeah. so i can actually see its use in a lot of different palladium environments you just kind of have to you have to limit it to some degree because like you said first come first win right yep but only 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 if you don't have the pesky morality that a lot of humans have like, they will threaten to kill their enemy, but not want to do it? Well, that's just giving your enemy a chance to stab you in the back and and take your good giga damage weapon. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely stupid. If you have a weapon that will end your enemy immediately and forever, you don't threaten it. You just pull the trigger. If yep. you're not brave enough to do that, you're not smart enough to have it. All right. A uh, reminder for folks that the Christmas surprise 2024 Christmas surprise package giveaway is open on the palladium dash store.com site. Check that out. Uh, Hidden Dog, what are you covering in the final segment for Rifter in, nine and a half? In segment three, we're going to be looking at uh, magical relics and artifacts that you can buy uh, in, in, in the world that, uh, that your, your GM actually presents this, you know, into. It's like I said, it's it's up to the GM. All the Rifter stuff is is GM optional. So if he wants to fix the game, he can. And uh, we're also going to see some spells that you can buy in scroll form. So all of you Leyland Walkers out there and, and Techno Wizards, you can learn these spells. And you can use them in your game to uh, not only increase the joy, but increase, uh, uh, increase the effectiveness of your character. 